In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use our house ties to label our building here with reference to our property lines. So to do that, I'm going to go to MS Annotate, Labels, and here we have a series of options. We have Auto or Manual. Manual, uh, when you enter your house tie, will let you manually enter the distance, whereas Auto will calculate that distance according from the, the the point you select and the line that you select. So in this case, I'm going to do auto house ties and I want arrows. So here it's just a matter of selecting the property corner, the line it's referenced to. Now, if this isn't the one you wanted, you can press escape. In this case, it is, so I'm going to press enter. And it's going to default to our default arrow mark, which is also OK, so I'm going to press enter as well. Now, it's also going to ask for another house tie if you want. I'm going to select 7, I'm going to select this line here. Instead of pressing enter, I can just do right click and then right click as well. If this is all what I wanted, I can press escape. And now I have my, both my house ties in there. Now if you want to control the distance that's shown in here, you can go to our defaults, distances, and change the Leroy text size, as well as the decimals displayed. And that is how you use the house ties in MicroSurveyCat.